Fuck that. I'm not giving this show a, a round of applause. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Dr. Senpai here, and I am very, 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 very proud to report that it's over. Yeah. Oh, I'm out of tissues. That's not, that's besides the point. I just looked at a tissue box nearby. And I was like, ah, oh, shit. Well, ugh. it's over, guys. It's over. I'm so glad it's over. Walking Dead Season 8 killed the show for me, and now I can finally stop watching it and watch Fear of the Walking Dead every year. Because, damn, I also saw the Fear of the Walking Dead premiere, and that was pretty bootylicious. I liked it. I think I'm going to like the season, too. So, uh, thoughts on the finale, though. I did have to watch the finale. I, I, I like it how AMC thought that they could get people into the movie theaters. And watch The Walking Dead before they see Fear the Walking Dead. I'm not paying fucking 20 bucks a ticket just to go see that in, in there. Where I, I already pay a cable subscription. I can already see The Walking Dead and its shitness on live TV for free. Um, God, a lot kind of happened. And it was all disappointing. I'm going to get into it. Um... As you guys already know from my previous videos, which, by the way, thank everyone that it's already, both of them have made thousands of views already, which is great. Um, some of my best videos ever, I guess. Um, wow. This finale, God, it was fucking horrible. As I kind of expected, well, actually not horrible, it was, like, below average. It wasn't bad, it wasn't terrible, it was just below average for a finale. Well, no way in hell I would ever go see that in theaters, wherever the hell they put on screen. I have so many fucking issues with it. Like, for example, Eugene is a coward and all that. Where he was more of a heroic coward in the comic book series and the TV series. He's all like, oh, I'm going to work for the saviors. I'm going to commit a bunch of fucking crimes and acts and shit. I'm going to hurt ev all my friends and watch them get hurt as all my other friends die. Oh, and in the end, there's like, oh, I guess... Eugene's going to be instantly redeemed as a hero because everyone saw this coming. I saw like 50 people I know theorize that Eugene was going to fill the Savior's guns with bullets, fake bullets, and they're going to explode. What happened? Exactly. God, this, sh this fucking show is too damn predictable. And yeah, th that that's what pretty much happened. And wow. It, it... He did it, and he got instantly redeemed for all the shit he caused to our favorite group of members of The Walking Dead. Oh, God, this show is fucking horrible. What else happened? You know, there's this whole thing where... Uh, this, this show is just horrifyingly predictable, and it's really sad to see that. This is more... This is not even an adaptation anymore. The Walking Dead TV show is not an adaptation. This is a big lots fucking goodwill copy of the comic book at this point it's not even a good adaptation everyone sees everything coming before it's already on screen so whatever man they did the exact same thing they did in the comic books which spoiler alert rick slices negan's throat except in the comic book series he snapped rick's leg and all that and then he passed out and in this version rick slit Negan's throat, and he's like, well, save him, and then everyone's like, oh, shit, why would you do that, which, you know, they have a right to be pissed that he would bring him back, except Maggie, of all people, was all like, oh, he killed Glenn, he killed Glenn, why would you save him, and, and then I go back, and I say, y y you're the dumb fucking bitch who had a whole slave camp of saviors working for you instead of killing them. Because they're the ones kind of responsible for having Glenn killed in the first place. God, that pissed me off. She's all like, oh, let's kill Negan. Yeah, you should, be, you should have wanted to kill Negan a long time ago and kill his men. You're just, ugh, whatever. It was, it was just such a lackluster. They had a final showdown. I was expecting a cool shootout. Nothing, nothing. I mean, I wasn't even expecting a cool show. I knew it was going to be shit, but I wasn't going to expect it to be that boring. Where, yeah, it happened. You know, everyone predicted it, that Eugene was going to make the guns explode with fake bullets. And that's what happened. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? 
this ass pulled Eugene being a good guy all of a sudden, even though he's been a clear asshole the entire season. I guess some people will say, well, you're just retarded because you don't see the gene that Eugene's actually a genius. He thought this out ahead of time. No, he fucking did. Shut the hell up. Oh, my God. I, I, I hate stupid ass fans. I'm going to have to make a Walking Dead fanboy video one day. It's going to be good. But good God, man. Just stupid shit like that. I can already see that already. This is a dumbass finale. And then they just, they, they killed a bunch of the saviors. Some of them were like, we surrender. And instead of killing them for all the crimes, like the, like the saviors put these guys through some shit. They, they, a few of them should probably die and be made an example of, but that's not what the season has been all about ever. It's just, everyone's just instantly forgiving everything. And then at the end, they kind of ass pulled putting the Oceanside people, the people on the beach, the women and all that, just throwing cup, Molotov cock talk. Molotov cocktails at the Saviors or some shit that I remember, and I was I didn't really see any of them get burned or anything. Just threw fucking Molotov cocktails. I'm not gonna go back and watch it again because I, honestly I don't give a fuck at this point. The show is retarded. I'm not coming back to it anyway. And they helped out, which was predictable, even though they said five times throughout this season that if you ever come back, we're gonna kill you. And then they had fucking retarded ass Aaron. In there, have to go back and save, or go back and try to convince them to fight, even though they've done that before and they got all their men killed and boys and children on their island. So that's why it's, it's only women. For fuck's sake, it was so retarded. They, they did, they they did like that dumbass shit in season seven, which I really hated when they brought them in there in the first place. Oh no, I am kind of glad they didn't just ask pole putting um the trash person chick who had all those trash people. In there in the war because she was only one person, I guess. So, that was alright. But, God, man. I was expecting them to do something different, I guess. They had Rick bleeding with red eyes and shit. But, no, he was just teared up and happy that he won. <sighs> Fucking hell. And, just like the comic book, they imprisoned him. Eugene becomes a good guy. If this was going to be any different, they should have just fucking put Eugene behind bars with Negan. <laughs> Like, yeah, you saved everyone at the end of the day, but we're not going to instantly redeem you, which is what they fucking did at the end of the damn episode. They instantly forgave Eugene. And he's just free from all the, the, the dumb shit he did do. Yet, they had Dwight in there who was working with them. He was giving them information. He he saved their asses by going with them. The saviors when... There, there was an episode where something happened where Tara was being a retard... Because no one likes fucking Tara in The Walking Dead. Where she was chasing around Dwight and something happened where the saviors met up with them and he saved their asses. Because they're about to go and find Daryl and the rest of the group and everything. And he saved their asses by being there. And then he gets he, he, he has to go away. He has to go. He gets exiled instantly. Bullshit. <sighs> fucking retarded ass show. I mean, you know, it did okay things. Like, there's something which I was kind of surprised they kind of did, and I'm kind of glad they did something a little bit different, where it looks like Maggie is going to, like, go to war with Rick now, or some shit like that, in The Walking Dead. Maggie, they already ruined her character already in this season, especially. A little bit in Season 7, but Jesus Christ. It, it, and you know what's kind of weird? The show is, like incredibly inconsistent she's barely even pregnant right now and they just kind of dropped that she's pregnant you know a while ago because she was pregnant with glenn's kid and they haven't brought it up she hasn't had any pains that she was pregnant or anything she hasn't had any pregnancy pains. she hasn't taken a break of anything she's just good old maggie running around shooting guns and shit it's like the show's so fucking inconsistent you just forget shit my favorite show is Dead, guys. I'm just a little pissed. So I don't, I don't know how much more I can honestly say. I'm just glad I'm finally free from watching this show. It's over. And I... It's trash, honestly. And it's fucking hell. I'm, I hope this show dies a slow death or something like that. Because it hasn't redeemed me. I was, ho I was kind of hoping that maybe it would bring me back to the show a little bit. But I don't know. A lost cause at this point. <sighs> I'm not as pissed as I was in the mid-season premiere where they just fucking ruined that kid's future with the Walking Dead and everything. Oh, and they're still pushing that, that retarded kid with the fucking bow staff 
is going to become the new Carl, I guess. Ooh, Henry, the new Carl with the bow staff. He's such a little badass. Oh, out of nowhere. It's like, fucking hell. And they didn't really come up with a great reason for Morgan to leave. They had they had to leave it to Fear the Walking Dead, the show with clearly much better production and writing to explain how he left. But he basically just kind of left, like, tell Henry this is his. And gave him his body art, and he just kind of booked it. They didn't do anything with King Ezekiel, because King Ezekiel's trash in The Walking Dead, too. Fucking horrible. In, in the TV series, he, he's pretty good in the comic book series, but in the TV series, he kind of speaks like a fucking idiot, like, I'm a king, yeah, we're all righteous here, I am King Ezekiel, ha <laughs> ha and all these speaking weird, dumb shit in tongue, while in the comic book series, he was still a king, I know he's a king, kind of speak that way, but it's like, come on. He still has that fat idiot that walks with him, that Jerry dude, who's always like, dude, bro, <laughs> yeah, king, your majesty, huh? And it's, ugh, fucking hate that guy. Daryl's still retarded. Um, most of the other characters are just fucking stupid. Rosita, they're still trying to make her a badass, I guess. I don't know. Whatever, man. I was going to kind of talk about the other episodes after the midseason, but I, I honestly just don't remember most of those episodes at this point, so, I'm just gonna leave it at this, guys, this show's fucking horrible, I hated the finale, kind of, I guess, it was just below average for, and mediocre as fuck, they didn't even have a good final showdown for this war, this wasn't even a war, it was just another arc, all that war meant much more in the comic books, and this show, they just treat it as another arc, and they're just gonna move on from this point, so, fuck it, whatever, fucking done with this stupid show.